Hello, my name is uh, Sitavila Mate. I am a registered architect uh, from Botswana. I run a practice called Moralo Designs. I'm also chairperson of the Architects Registration Council in Botswana. I'm an executive committee member for our local institute, the Architects Association of Botswana. Um, and I'm also chair of validation for the Commonwealth um, Association of Architects. It's been very interesting to, to review the submissions for this competition. There's been a lot of creativity seen and a lot of recognition of the real problems that are faced by these, these com com communities. So um, well done to all the participants um, who've submitted. Um, it was a really difficult task finding you know, the, the winners, but they represented what we saw as uh, submissions that uh, went that extra mile. So thank you, it's been an honor serving on the jury. Good evening, my name is Felix. I am an architect from Uganda and I've been really pleased to be um, part of the jury of the competition and to look at a really great variety of interesting ideas when it comes to flood resilient buildings. Uh, we would like to congratulate all the submissions and especially the winners of course and we would really hope to see uh, one or maybe even more than one of the winning entries to be completed in one to one. Hello everyone. Today we are sharing with you the results of a competition that took place uh, in the course of last month that was organized by the Architectural Association of Kenya and the topic of this particular competition was a flood resilience design and it involved participants from all over the country and uh, in the region. My name is Khaled Mutali and I was chair of the jury. Now we had three judges that had been appointed by the Architectural Association of Kenya to review, grade and collect and prepare uh, the merit results uh, of this particular competition. We had uh, Madame Sitabile Mate from Botswana, uh, Mr. Felix Holland, uh, who's an architect practicing in Uganda, and myself, Khaled Mutali, uh, who was the chair of the jury. We had uh, various areas that we're looking at uh, for us to make sure that the results were uh, acceptable. And uh, one of the areas that we were paying close attention to in this particular competition was innovativeness. We also consider relevance to context we took care of uh, what kind of building materials had been uh, selected by the participants, the aspect of sustainability, affordability, and also the inclusivity and social impact potential of the project. We do know that floods are a problem in parts of Kenya. The three sites that were mostly considered were Budalangi in Busia. We also have had Tana River in uh, uh, the coast part of Kenya, and also uh, Kano Plains around Kisumu. Uh, today I am pleased to share with you the results of what was uh, the feelings as far as uh, the assessment of the judges is concerned and uh, it was a very closely uh, uh, contested uh, uh, competition but we are very glad to announce the following. We received 48 submissions uh, which were considered, uh, 41 were responsive Six of them were considered uh, uh, non-responsive in the sense that they did not meet the criteria of the parameters that have been set for this particular uh, competition. And uh, the results are as follows. We considered the following uh, uh, results, what not worthy as far as merit is concerned, and we felt that these ones can be mentioned. Uh, um, the first one, that were not the highest scorers, but were graded as being what you've mentioned, was Roomba, uh, the name of the project, by, uh, by Alex Maninga, and he considered the site in Nyando, Kisumu County, and we felt that this was a, a clever uh, use of agricultural uh, uh, spaces, and uh, uh, he also had good use of local materials, and also uh, he gave us scope that allowed for expansion 
of the program uh, that would have been selected. The other one we want to mention, the second mention, goes to a gentleman by the name of Kelvin Bwamu, and this was a, a project called Architecture by Seda. Uh, the site was Budalangi in Busia County, and the reasons why it needs mention is because the jury felt that he had chosen a re replicable modular home typology. It was an innovative structural system and uh, a very good use of space and also had space for prefabrication, uh, uh, scope uh, for prefabrication. And he also used a new building form typology uh, in this region, but yet in a very appropriate manner. The last mention goes to a project called, called the Rescue Pod by Bruce Mugola. And this was uh, located in the Kano Plains of Kisumu County. The Rescue Pod was what you mentioned because it's found to be highly affordable in terms of cost and therefore minimize, uh, uh, it was a minimalist solution and very good for prefabrication and being rolled out in quantity. So these are projects we felt uh, can uh, uh, qualify for mention. The ones are the, uh, the ones we felt uh, are the top scorers. The first one scoring 88% out of 100 was uh, a project that is called EJL by Elton Birir. The site was Budalangi County. This was the first price and uh, we felt it was a clever and practical design answer to the changing conditions, a sensible choice of materials, had a scope for prefabrication and simple construction method that could be incremental and well-proportioned architectural forms. The second one, scoring 86%, so you can see it was closely contested, was a project called Misimu uh, and by a team of Musazi James and Kenneth Kanabi. Again, the site was Budalangi in Busia County, and we felt this one was uh, strong as a floating home that combines simplicity with identity, a flexible minimalist uh, floor plan, and good choice of local materials. Uh, the third one uh, uh, we are mentioning in the top three is a project that was done by Akiki Biarugaba, and it was located in the Kipini village, Tana River Delta of Tana River County. Uh, he scored 84%. And we found this was a very interesting solution of what you call an amphibious eco-village. It was contextual architecture fostering social harmony, modular approach ensuring diversity with limited means and traditional materials creating good indoor comfort. We also found he went ahead and used a local art and craft and also urban design approach which was incremental to show scalability of this particular design. So we are very glad uh, with these particular results and we wish the contestants all the best. And once again, we want to say to the AK, thank you for having considered us as a, to be part of the jury. And uh, we wish also the contestants all the best. We believe there will be a second phase of this particular competition where we can consider implementation of this project uh, to, to a real life scale. Thank you everyone, and we wish you a lovely day. Bye.